Let's do this! What's up, guys? It is October 21st, which means the final trailer for Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, just dropped. Apparently, it aired on Monday Night Football, but seeing as how I don't really watch football, and by really, I mean I don't at all or know anything about it, I don't even know what time Monday Night Football came on, what channel, or anything. I just knew that it was on Monday night. So I spent all night just refreshing YouTube, waiting for the trailer to come up, and it just did. I haven't watched any of it. I just saw the thumbnail of Ray just kind of standing there like... But besides that, I haven't seen anything about the trailer. I'm about to watch it right now, and you guys get to see my reaction. It's the first trailer reaction I've ever done, so if this goes well, maybe I'll do more. I don't know. We'll see. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, first things first. Need these because, you know, I'm old and I gotta see. Turn the volume up because, like I said, I'm old. Can't hear. Here we go. Big Star Wars fan. Looking forward to this. Jungle Planet? Is it a uh, indoor? Feeling. Okay. The force brought together. Is it quad knocklers? We're not alone. Is that Lando? Good people will fight oh, if we she's back. Them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. Oh shit, there he is. Long have I waited. Is that Vader's castle? And now you're coming oh, hell yeah. together. Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Oh. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. It's a slayer's back. Your destiny. They're running horses? Oh! I think that was Vader. The Force will be with you. Always. That it? That's it. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, we don't really, or I don't, maybe you guys do, um, from that, don't really know much more than I already did. <laughs> and, uh, I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, yeah, uh, showed us a lot of cool visuals. I saw a lot of cool Star Wars-y stuff. Lots of practical looking effects. Um, yeah, it looked a lot more like it was in the vein of uh, The Force Awakens. Like that kind of vibe. More so than The Last Jedi. Which I know will make a lot of people happy. Me, myself, I didn't really mind The Last Jedi. I didn't think it was the best Star Wars movie, but I didn't think it was as awful as everybody was saying or as everybody does say <clears throat> but neither here nor there uh this did look more like uh, more like it was in line with the force awakens which i think more people did end up enjoying that over say the last jedi um which makes sense because jj abrams is back he made force awakens he's making this one 
Um, some people are saying it's a course correct, and I, I don't know, but whatever. Either way, this movie looked really cool. Um, I don't know where all they're going to go with it. There, were some, there, there was some imagery in there that had me questioning things and wondering. I don't want to like dissect it too much because then, I mean, yeah, that's kind of fun. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin anything. I want to go in and just have a good time and experience it, you know, raw. Uh, one thing I did see that I will dissect is the part where uh, Ray and Kylo Ren, I don't know if they like, if they're, they were fighting and their lightsabers hit and they kind of like deflected or if both of them just took a swing at it. But it looked like that kind of pseudo shrine thing he had in, I don't think it was in The Last Jedi, but it was in The Force Awakens of... Darth Vader uh, he had like in his quarters it looked like that they just like decimated that like destroyed it it looked like they were doing it together uh, I mean I don't know it was literally like a one maybe two second shot so uh, we'll see where that goes um, heard lots of Emperor back there and a little bit of Luke and at the very end when he said you know the force will always be with you or I'll always be whatever it was he said this is the force is always with you. Uh, when it, the always that wasn't Mark Hamill. That was somebody else. I'm wondering if that was uh, supposed to be like uh, young, well not young Luke. Maybe Anakin. I don't know because I've heard like a lot of things about maybe Anakin's in this one. I don't know. It didn't show any Anakin stuff that I saw. Uh, the whole thing with C-3PO, what's that about? Are we gonna lose? His, I mean, do, each of these new Star Wars movies, they kill off an old character or or more. Um, so, kind of scared there. I mean, C-3PO is a robot. He didn't have to die, but it looked like maybe he's going to sacrifice himself or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Looked pretty cool, man. I was, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Like, lots of different varied planets. Um, could be a really good ride. Could suck. Who knows? You know, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are kind of, uh, hoping. I don't know. I, I won't say that. I was going to say, I think a lot of, it seems like a lot of people are hoping that the movie's going to fail. I don't think that's the truth. Or I, I'd like to not. I'd like to think better of people. But um, I think maybe there is a, a, a sect of people out there that is, you know, kind of like mad at Star Wars. Uh, whether it be like because they were let down what they thought Star, Star Wars should be with The Last Jedi. Um or this whole this news about George Lucas and getting screwed over by Disney, you know I, I don't even know all that. Whatever, if that happens, you know that sucks and that that's business world. I, I don't watch movies for what happens in the real world. I watch movies to escape and for escapism. And um, well, I, I won't say I don't really care, but I mean when I'm watching the movie in the context of the movie, I don't care about all the stuff that went on outside. You know, it's just whatever it is that sucks, but it is what it is. If the movie's entertaining, if it's a good time, if I have a good time with it then it's a win for me. Uh, but yeah, I can ramble on forever about this. Uh, I'll need to watch it again because it's just a, a lot to take in all at once. But I mean, yeah, that, that was a... Uh, saw a lot of cool things and I'm really excited. Um, uh, the, my biggest takeaway from the whole thing is that it didn't show too much and I'm really happy about that. I don't feel like I'm going into the movie knowing everything that's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to try not to speculate too much because I just want to have a good time with it and be surprised. So, uh, yeah. Good times. I think it's going to be fun. December 20th. What, we're... This is the 21st, so it's literally two months away. Uh, minus one day. Two months away from now. I'm, I'm excited. I'll be there opening night. And, uh, yeah. After I see it, hopefully it's awesome. But whatever it is, I'll definitely have a review of a review up of it ASAP on this channel right here. And uh, yeah, Star Wars: Rise of the Skywalker trailer reaction. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hope it wasn't a total bore fest. And if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button to help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say? Give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Don't judge. Don't act like I'm the only one out there who's done the woo 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 sound. Come on now.